Hello everyone and welcome to the another video in the lecture series of Learn 3ds Max. In this video I will tell you about how you can draw the prefabricated windows and doors in 3ds Max. Okay, so on the command panel on the create tab we are having a geometry option and in this geometry we are having a uh, drop down menu in which we can see there are doors. Okay, so I click door and there it is having three options pivot, sliding and bifold. Okay, so these are the kind of uh, doors that we uh, usually use. Okay, so these are the prefabrication. You can also download the 3D models from other free websites and from the internet, and you can use it in your Google project in your uh, 3ds Max project. Okay, so I'll select the perspective view and I'll click LTW to make it full screen. I'll first select the pivot type. Okay, now pivot type is having a creation method width, slash, depth, and height, and then it is having width, height, depth. It means it will ask you for first width. Then it will ask you for the depth. After that, it will ask you for the height. So these are the kind of creation method that you can use. Firstly, I'm going to select this with that height and I'll come to screen and I'll drag it around. Okay, I click it and I give it a length. Then I will give it a thickness. Okay, I click it and then I will give it a height. Okay, so let's say it is height. I'll click and come out of it. Now it is having the parameters height. We can manipulate it from here, width depth okay it is having if it is a double door we can click double door it is it will show it is a double door then it is having an open option that is the it is going to be very important in this video for the windows and uh, uh, doors so you can increase this thing so you'll get to know how it is going to get open now let's say you want to open it on the other side so you can click on flip swing okay this is there is an option above it that is flip swing okay so the swing will be flipped okay now we are having a frame option, the doors frame, how you want to uh, examine it, okay? How you want to manipulate it, you can manipulate it from here. That is create frame, you can increase the frame width, you can increase its depth, okay? You can also do the door offset. You can see here, the door is going to getting offset, okay? So how much kind of offset you want, you can manipulate it from here. It is having leaf thickness. Leaf means the main door. It is known as the leaf. You can increase its thickness. Okay. You can draw in any other view. I am just drawing everything in the perspective view. You can do it in any other view. Okay. So it is. It can have a bottom rail up and down. Okay. It is having panels horizontal. How much kind of a panel you want? There are kind of panels in the door. So if I increase, let's I give it two. Okay. Uh, I uh, give it two. So there will be a two panel I'll, if i press three it will have three panel vertical panels if i click it it will have that kind of panels okay if you have a meeting you can increase it okay you can play with these things if you have a glass panel you can increase its length if you have beveled shapes i can click bevel what kind of bevel angle you want okay what kind of thickness you want for that thing you all can play with it okay Thickness inner and outer, middle thickness, width you want, okay. The other width, the inner width you want. So this is how a door can be made, and these are the type of parameters that you need to use. This is a kind of a pivot door. Now I will click sliding. I give it a width, a depth, and a height. Okay, so this is kind of a sliding door. All the options are same. You can increase the open space, uh, open percentage, so that the door will look open. You can flip sides, you can flip front back, and all the things are same. Play with all these things and uh, familiarize yourself how this thing works. These are the prefabricated models that comes with the 3ds Max. Last one is bifold. If I give it a length, I give it breadth, and I get height. When I go to open, then it will open like this. Okay, so this is also a type of a door and they all the parameters are still same you can use them and you can play with it okay so this is a kind of a door now we'll move on to windows on the same option under the create tab in the geometry section we are having windows also there it is windows okay so if i click at windows there are kind of six type of windows of it first we'll click awning i'll click awning and i give it a length a breadth and a height Okay, I've come down. It is having an open percentage. I can open it at whatever we want to. Okay, and then it is having rails and panels option, width, and it is having glazing options. Okay, 
when it is having frame sizes you can increase the frame size you can frame width and all that so all the parameters are kind of same okay then we have a castment window the creation methods are all kind of same width depth and height so width we'll get depth and then we'll get height and we'll go to open window and we'll give it a percent okay so these are kind of a simple windows that are usually used all the other options are same then we have a fixed window give it a depth and then give it a height give it a percentage of it is not having a, actually it is a fixed window so it will not have any kind of opening here so this is the option glazings railings and panels chamfered profile if it is having we can click that now we are having the pivoted give it a length depth and height okay go to the open and you can open. it's kind of pivot it will rotate around a point pivot point okay so this is a pivot one is projected we get length breadth and height kind of this okay if i open it it will be open like this okay you can flip sides and all those uh, things you can do with it we are having the last that is sliding if we give it a depth and we give it a breadth then it will have this parameters okay if i open it it will be a sliding window okay these are kind of useful in the apartments and all this okay so this lecture was about our uh, that is doors and window the families that are already in the 3ds max that we can use okay so these are the kind of doors and doors. i hope you like the video try it yourself and let me know if you stuck anywhere okay and thank you and if you like the video please do subscribe the channel thank you